All right, guys, welcome back to another Vintage Masters. That's not what it is at all. A Vintage Cube draft on Magic Online. Got Mike B here, and he's probably going to leave after the draft portion because he's basically a small child in a, in a giant's body. Or being responsible. Thank you. I saw you eat dinner tonight, man. Those four, <laughs> four soups. No way, man. That ain't responsible. I think it's hey, Jitte. Soup shame me. Well, <laughs> Over Tudor? I, I think Jitte is stronger than Tudor. What do you guys think? Tell me about your. Tell me about your choices. Man, PayPal. What a cut. Uh you think Tudor over Jitte? Also, Jitte does not commit us to black, but Tudor does. Let's see how much hate I can get in the YouTube comments for this guy. Whoop! Wow. Everyone, everyone agreed, and you, and you just, wow, no, never. Solemn simulacrum keeping us open. That takes long. Jete into solemn. We can also take a Tamio, a tomato. I think Tamio is an amazingly underrated planeswalker in this, uh, in this format. It does seem like it's very like one threat oriented. Yeah, right. Like they'll have one big dude, and you'll be like, all right, tap it down forever. Or there's like one dude you can't deal with, and there's like tons of dudes you can. I actually like Timmy a lot. But. but. But she's double blue. I think we're going to go blue, but we're not going to go green this time. I'm going to take Tammy out here. Ooh, sort of body in mind. Body in mind. Ooh, keep my body in mind. I don't know what I said there, yeah, but. We could have Demonic Tutor something. Bargain. Just make some broken. Are you deck. playing the piano? I don't know what you're doing over here. He's like, he's Play like the, piano. I don't know what he's doing though. Is it Gush? Is it Days? Is it sort of B and M? I would not take Days or Gush this early. Oath? What are you talking about? <laughs> there ain't no Oath in here. Unless your stream is behind. I think it's sort of body mind. I don't like Boros Signet here just because it's uh it's wrong colors. Yeah, it's not good colors. Like there's tons of stuff in here that you can get. Like a metal worker. That's pretty good with these first two picks. It's not bad. It's not the bad. I'm gonna take this metal worker. DG art, good games, man. Uh, a little frustrating. Uh, we got we drew like literally nine lands in one of our games. That was frustrating, and um, like we couldn't deal with one creeping tarpet. So not not ideal, but nonetheless, good games and um, good luck. Good luck to your good luck in the future, buddy. Did we pass a fiery confluence? Maybe. I didn't... I'd I, take murder, Scott. There's so many cards in this set that... Are, we're really not thirst for knowledge when we have, like, triple artifacts. I don't think... I don't think murder, Scott's better than thirst here. This says draw three on it, bro. Some delicious blue drink. You ever drawn three before? Yeah, it's alright. Doubt it. What about Geist? I, I kind of like Geist, especially with swords. Yeah, it seems good. I don't think we took Confluence over Metal Worker because we got the Metal Worker. I'm going to take Geist of St. Draft. Oh, Repeal? I'm not super excited about that, even though I sounded like I was excited about it. You can take Kithian. I'm less excited about that. I, I, I'm not even sold on playing white right now. I just want to stay blue, I guess. I'm blue, I'm blue, I'm blue. Ooh, Shackles and Scarab God? Shackles is really good. This could be a Shackles deck. It's looking pretty Shackles to me. Mono blue Shackles. Mono blue Shackles, if you will. A couple Shackles. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's do mono blue artifact Shackles. Blue Tron, Frank loves Gutshot. Blue Tron. It's basically your dream. We're just living your dream. I'm blue. Yeah, I'm blue. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The Stardust 10. Make green decks great again. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate it. 
And we try to make green decks great every single draft. I think this is the one time we're not making green decks great. And the funny thing is, we're not even, I don't even try to force green. I just feel like it's the strongest stuff. Everyone gets so it's oh, always open to you. And everyone gets so excited about moxes and soul rings, and I'm like, you could just do that with green cards. I got four moxes in my deck. They cost one mana, but I can play them on turn one. This deck looks great so far. Is this a tangle wire deck? Is this a thing in the ice deck? How's that flip? Uh, you cast four instant or sorcery spells. Not bad. I mean, we're get. I think I think we can build around this. I really don't like tangle wire. I I hate tangle wire so much that even if it was good in my deck, I wouldn't take it. I just don't like. I feel like there's situations where tangle wire is very good, and I don't know how to make those situations. So, yeah, I'll just take firebolt. Birds of Paradise is basically like a black, the Black Lotus of Moxes, whatever that means. Wow, that's high praise. The Black Lotus of Moxes. You heard it here first, folks. Jeez. You heard it here first. The Stardust 10, thank you so much for the donation, man. Really appreciate it. Old Grim Daddy. Hmm. Got a bunch of red cards here. The blue cards, not so uh, not so free-flowing. I guess we could be Just Guy. <laughs> but that makes our shackles much worse, so... It makes it unplayable. What? For three colors, there's no way you can play shackles. Yeah, I okay, I agree with you. For two colors, you can probably still, probably still do. It. I like Spirit and Geist here. Those are two. That's a that's a floater that They're holds. Fine gentlemen. They are both fine gentlemen. I think we're just playing blue white spirit artifacts, spartifacts, if you will. Is that like the Spartans with artifacts? Oh, this I was actually kind of wanted this because I think it's turn one this guy, then play Jit and equip it. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't actually think this is terrible. I don't think that's terrible either. Good sideboard. Artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Emerald. I think Mystic Confluence might be better than Emerald, but I don't know about that. Oh, God, Mystic Confluence is so good. Yeah, I mean it's definitely Emerald. We're playing the Metalworker deck, whatever. Maybe this will table. Yeah. In your wildest dreams. <laughs> you don't think so? No, nah, people love blue too much. Everyone's trying to play blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. But what if? What if they did? Well, if that tables, then I'll give you 50 bucks. Wow. You guys heard it here first, folks. Mike, Mike owes me 50 bucks if it tables. Opposition. I don't think we're an opposition deck. I think we are an image deck because every deck is an image deck. Image is pretty good. I also like factor Just, uh, fiction. Just don't copy uh, a tribe elder when they have no other creatures on board. Don't do that. What about moat? Can we can we be a moat deck? This doesn't look like a moat deck. Really? We got a spirit. We got we got a selfless spirit. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Go on. <laughs> Just, Just saying. So situational. Is factor fiction better than phantasmal image? In a vacuum, probably. But there's a lot of broken creatures in this format, so... Everyone is saying Factor Fiction, which is super interesting, because I would have thought Image is a stronger card. I'll, I'll take Factor Fiction. I'll trust you guys. Plus, we rarely ever take Factor Fiction, so it's nice to, uh... It's nice to play it again. <laughs> we haven't taken many Images, either. I feel like I always take Image when it's presented to me. Wow, they're still going. Oh, I like a Remand. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Also, Factor Fiction triggers thing in the ice, so that's pretty sweet. So does Remand. Right, right. Right, right. Right is rain. Right as rain. Also, if you guys haven't done so and you do subscribe, be sure to link your Twitter, you're not doing your Twitter, your Twitch and your uh, Discord accounts because the Discord chat is pretty sweet uh, and uh, it's a subscriber perk. So, If you're going to subscribe, might as well take advantage of that perk. Might as well take it them perks, boy. I like a dragon. It's a late channel. That is a late channel. You want to take it? We got half of it right here, bro. Half the channel I used to be. Or Revel Arc seems good, too. We can get back Geist. We can get back... Uh, it's not good. I'm going to get Dragon Lord Ojitai. Discord is... It's like a... What would you even call it? It's a game chatting feature. That's well, not a, I don't know a you feature. Can, you can voice chat or you can text chat. Typically, it's used for games, but you can really just use it like a Skype substitute. What if we go Armageddon and Armageddon triggers our thing on the ice? 
And then we Gross. bounce all their creatures and we kill all their lands. That's pretty that's pretty good. I actually don't hate that. I'm getting also just busted. I never like Delverino in uh You have like three Because you never Yeah, you usually have like three or four ways to like this right now we have four cards out of fifteen that flip it. I mean, you can kinda of build around it, but not, it's not necessarily worth it. Uh, you, no, I don't have anything to do with it. You just link our, you link your Discord channel to your Twitch account, and you should get an invite automatically. I think we're still taking this. I don't think anything. Actually, how about Workshop? Well, you took Workshop. Yeah, well, I mean, we've got a bunch of artifacts here. I don't know if it's great. I also don't know if I love Geddon. You're always so hesitant about that Geddon. Right, because, like, sometimes you're behind, and then you're like, oh, no. Yeah, it's definitely a, a tempo card. But it's real good. Because then you play a big dude, and then you're like, yes, next turn again. And then they play a bigger dude, and you're like, never mind. Yeah, but if you go, like, turn three guys, then to turn four again, and it's just, like, game over. Maybe. Maybe. I guess unless they have a 2-2. Two -two. I like unexpectedly absent here. I also like... No, I don't like Thalia. It's not a Thalia deck. This is the opposite of a Thalia deck. My problem with Godfaro's Gift is we have five creatures. Like, I love Godfaro's Gift as much as the next guy, but... Um, Do you really? I think it's a great card. Yeah, I think it's awesome. Skull Clamp? Oh, Hangerback Walker seems great for this deck. So does Skull Clamp if you make a bunch of 1-1s. One yeah, that's a really late Skull Clamp. There's like no respect for Skull Clamp either. I don't know why. That's I just don't thing. think we have enough creatures for it. Like, we have to actually flip this. I think it's just Hangerback Walker. Especially with Metal Worker. Sower of Temptation, that's great. It's really good. Oh, the Mystic Confluence didn't come back. I guess I don't owe you 50 bucks. Dang it. So close. It's either Charter Course, Charter Course, which is draw two, uh, interacts well with Thing in the Ice, or it's Angel of Invention. I think it's Angel. Yeah? Yeah. I agree with you. Op now we might be uh, in opposition deck with Hangerback Walker and Angel. Yeah, we're definitely in opposition. Back too, so. Oh, I see. All of a sudden, now now that you so, want me to take opposition, you take the other packs into consideration. I see how it goes now. You can take your sass, buddy, okay? And you can put it right in the dumpster. Meanwhile, if it's a card I want to take, you're like, we don't have anything that supports that card. And we have... It's a, it's like pack pick pack two, pick one. I want to take this Soulfire Grandmaster because it's actually pretty sweet. And if we open Ancestral... <gasps> Revelark is great with Angel of Invention. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, look, Delverino came back. Actually, like soldier. soldiers, fine. Good in certain matchups. Yeah, well, protection from multicolor is a real thing, and the life gain is a real thing. Like if your opponent has a guys, they'll never get through. I'll never get through unless you put a sword on it. In which case, come on through. I'll cry. Come through. It's lit. <laughs> Man, good times. Mentor would be nice. Ancestral recall would be nice because then we can actually pay five, and not only um, draw three, but our ancestral recall would have life link. I like it better with Time Walk. Yes, I like it better with Time Walk as well. Four mana take all the turns ever. Infinite I turns. Mean six mana, I guess, right? Six yeah. Mana. Darn. Oh my god. I, I, this is actually possible. We could actually open Time Walk. Oh, that's actually playable. Super playable. Ideally, we'll get a... a double white, but... I'd like a Tundra or something. Yeah, you could use some six mana. Well, Tundra or um, Hollow Fountain specifically because then this guy can search for them, so. All right. Here we go. No. It's Dang okay. it. Yeah, we'll probably just get past the time walk like we did last time. This pack is actually terrible. It's not good. You could take Recruiter. Gets a couple things. It does get a couple things. It gets Soulfire Grandmaster. It gets Thing in the Ice, Selfless Spirit. It gets pretty much everything in our deck. Angel... Otherwise, I guess it's just like porcelain. I get sower. Yeah, I think porcelain generic is garbage. I'll just take the recruiter, I guess. I don't think it's great. And. Yeah. Ponder? 
Yes, but I don't love it. These picks have not been good. These are two these are two whiff sows. I don't know if we're artifacting as much now. We only have like four artifacts in our whole deck. Five, I guess, with Mox. Yeah, probably not a bit over for deck. Academy ruins. I mean, I hate Academy ruins. It's really slow. Also, none of these artifacts really die. Goonies never say die. This is true. I just think Ponder is such a good I fixing card. Once. He never said die. God, I wish this was on color. I wish I had a million dollars. This is big. <laughs> This is basically just half a soul ring, right? Like, instead of one, it costs zero. Instead of two colorless mana, it makes one colorless mana for yeah. us. Sure. Oh, that's a... That's... Oh, my goodness gracious. I wish you luck. Can you pass a cryptic command? Is it possible? <laughs> Wait, hold on. You gotta put them on the other way. I can't do that, actually. I don't know why. My arms just literally don't bend that way. T-Rex arms. I think it's actually Cryptic here. I hate it. I think Cryptic is a much stronger card. You think Cryptic is a stronger card? Yeah. I agree. This is just a creature that we can tap down with Oppo. Plus, I think... the Cryptic command? Oof. I think we're also uh, much heavier blue than white, so... Man, it's high. Get him. We could get him. Or Solarian Souls. Eh. We don't have a way to flash it back. Copter? Is Copter good in this deck? Kinda. Maybe? Yeah, a couple two drops. A couple two drops? Yeah, the la Legion Landing. I don't trigger. hate Lindvala. Soul's Opposition is great, but again, we don't have like a way to, we don't have a way to flash it back, so it's literally just two of them. We don't have any black mana to flash it back. You guys understand this? Uh. <laughs> I guess we can wheel the airborne. I'm gonna just take the Smuggler's Copter. You can probably play it. And there's a signal to splash. You messed up. I know. It's just rubbing it in my face. I mean, this is 23 cards right now, so... I think it's just... pretty cool. What? The deck looks pretty cool. I agree. I would take Ancient Tomb. Really? Yeah. That's so much damage every turn, man. Stone. You don't have that much removal. I'm going to take the deck. I don't like Tomb, it's just too much damage. Like Cards like Tomb and Mana Crypt, unless you have decks that are like... We're not a tempo-based deck, so we're just going to actually lose a million damage to stupid Ancient Tomb. We don't have a single splash land. A single land, a single fixing land. I actually don't hate this. It's not bad. I don't think it's double white cards. Yeah, I think it's just... Commit to memory. I like a Supreme Verdict. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, especially if we can Selfless Spirit make our guys indestructible. Yeah, that's pretty gross. Yeah. Yeah. I take... I expect to lay absent out. It's double white. Man, I wish we had the time walk, though. Yeah, I don't think we passed anything. Like, we didn't pass any blue-white lands. This is 23 cards. I'm okay with this 23. I'd like to put, like... I'd like Commit to Mary, but I, I don't think it's better than a lot of the cards we have in here already, so... That's a good one. That is indeed a good one. Cards are disgusting. Yep, I guess we're just taking this and playing Ravnica block blue-white control. Pretty much. You can probably cut thing in the ice. Really? We have so many things now. So many things in the ice? No, we have some... Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, alright, that's fine, whatever. Uh, I should have said timely. I was thinking about timely. There's not that many aggro decks though. I feel like there's zero. There's really not. Like I haven't. I don't think we played against an aggro deck once. I think we played mono red one time, and it was no, not. No, you're a not going to count. Like these are all the things that help flip thing. In the, I actually, yeah, I think you might be right. I don't like this. 
cards like Thing in the Ice and Delver, like there's just the traps. I think they're traps unless you're blue red. Like if you're blue red, you might be able to get the, the enough spells, but like I don't feel safe to I having dr- Metalworker. Metalworker's not good. Really? You don't have that many artifacts. You have four artifacts. How often are you going to be able to actually? Yeah, you're right. I'll just play it like this. You can keep your thing in the ice. I mean, I'd much rather play Knight of the White Orchid over Thing in the Ice, but it's still white. Yeah. It's pretty good, though. I'll play this instead. All right. <laughs> That's pretty insane. Wow, Baneslayer came back. No, Lin Vala is pretty good for this. Oh, let's take the Mana Tithe. Get him. I will get him. Hey, man, you can't put that in your sideboard. You got Mana Tithe. You got to play it. Is that true? Yeah. Wow, what do I cut for it? I don't know. I am single. I'm not married. Zara and Orb about to propose to you. Yes or no? Say. <laughs> uh, it was the it was the window, wasn't the the yeah it was the the window viper. I've come to wash and wipe your windows. Is that a real thing that happened? Yeah, it's a real thing. There's yeah, Jovis over like he was like, I am the viper. I will be coming at seven o'clock, and they're like, oh my god, we have to stop this. Who is the Viper? Because their enemy's Cobra, right? Right. And then ends up being this this window wiper from like you know Eastern Europe, and he's like, "I am the window viper. I'm here to wash and wipe your." Wow, I thought the king, the condiment king, was the worst. Here it is. This is great. Hello. <laughs> it's great. Okay, this is a meme version, yeah, obviously, yeah, but I mean, you get the point. It's just fantastic. Oppo seems weak with nine creatures, but we also have Hangerback Walker and Legion's Landing. I have to go now. My people need me. All right, well, I'll see you later. I'd say I miss you, but I won't because I hate you. Yeah, I know. I know. It's good to hate. Maybe Oppo does come out. I don't know. It's good to hate. Mike Bartholomew, 2017. I guess I can scoot over a little bit. All right. Some some mess going on here. Oh, let me fix this. I don't think it's going to get fixed. It's too late. I don't even care. All right, I think the opposition is correct to cut. I think Revel Arc is fine as a six drop. This is a two drop. I don't know what you two will be. I do like Mana Tide, actually. I probably like Mana Tide better than Thing in the Ice. I don't know what to... I think this is fine. I think I like the way this looks here. I'm tempted to cut the thirst for, like, commit to memory, but I don't think that's good. I have... I think Shackles is great. Like even if we're like, even if we're nine eight, which is just fantastic. Like I think that's just fine. I'm gonna definitely cut. We're gonna add mocks, obviously. Like we have two double white cards. We have a bunch of. Oh, we're gonna have to. I'm gonna cut a white. We'll go nine seven. I 
I can see cutting repeal for commit. I think that's actually better. This is actually, this is probably one of the harder decks to build that I've had. Also tempted to cut Angel for like Thing in the Ice because it's double blue. Or double white rather. But I think these are the only two double blue, double white cards. I guess Sulfuric Supreme Verdict is too. I was going to say Sulfuric Vortex. That's not what that is. I think I'm going to try it like this and we'll see what happens. We can also just board into an aggressive white deck. With Knight, Soldier, Student, and Figure. And Porcelain Legionnaire. Just go ham. I don't think Thing is actually that good. There's like a lot of decks that actually don't have that many creatures in them. And you have Supreme Verdict. Like, you never want to play Supreme Verdict and kill your guys. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge G.I. Joe fan. G.I. Joe was like my go-to cartoon in the 80s. Uh, no opposition because we just don't feel like we have enough creatures. Like, we only have nine creatures in the main deck, plus a Legion's Landing, so... I don't know. Who knows? What can you do? Oh, the old triple five drop Sphinx's Relation Hand. That's pretty bad. Well, we will be mulliganing that bad boy. Yeah, this is better. Um, that's fine. We'll keep you on top. Oh, the toys that made us. All right, I'll keep that in mind. I will definitely check that out. Larry Hammer is awesome. I follow Larry. Me and Larry Hammer are friends on Facebook, actually. And he's actually like super down to earth. He's not like he's like such a he's like he's a real cool guy. You too. I actually really like the GI Joe cartoon movie. I know a lot of people didn't. In the 80s? That's a good card. Uh, yeah, this is rough. This is where they're going to go Sword, and then they're going to go Bitter Blossom Token, and they're going to go Equip It, and then we're going to go Oh No, and it's all downhill from there. Oh, all right. Oh. Okay. Okay. We do want another blue here. Oh, water sports drill. Keep that in mind, buddy. Feel free to uh well, I don't know what I don't know what you can feel free to do. Feel free to fall asleep to my sultry tones. My dulcet tones, my friend. Always a pleasure, Drew. Have a good night, buddy. Oh, missed the land drop. Okay. Um, well, this is sad. Pretty sure we just discard two planes. Yeah, that seems good. Now we have both commit to memory, factor fiction, and cryptic command up. Um, we have Supreme Verdict, and we have, I don't know, Angel Invention, Revel Arc, things like that. Like, we can, we can block it. I don't know if we can permanently deal with it. We have, um, yeah, I don't know if we have much, actually. I don't think we even have, like, an evolution ring, so. Oh, we actually can commit to memory it. Nice, XC Blaze. Nice. 
Oh yeah, that's going to go in the trash can. Can I try to spell draw a card, I guess? That's that's a thing. That does let us play... Oh, dang it, if we had a land, we can actually keep up Mana Tithe. I guess we just Ojitai here. And hope they don't do anything broken. Oh, that's actually not his chair. That's just the, the way the green screen is lining up. I'll see if I can move it. There we go. Unfortunately, this is a lot of fairies. They could quad block our... No, oh, look at that. Multiple, multiple mox players. Okay, so that makes one mana. So now you have one, two, three, four, six mana. Six blue mana. And one of any color. Yeah, there's still a line. It's just because there's a there's a, a crease right here in the green screen that the light is picking up. So my problem with holding up tithe and factor fiction is that like we have to do something or else they're just gonna overrun us with fairies. So we don't really have the luxury of uh This is where they block with all four, and then we try to commit one to the top. Oh, they just jump block one. Okay. Okay. Well, they couldn't really go aggro last turn because this guy had summoning sickness. So they attack with three, we block one, they deal us two damage, and then we get in with an Oj Ojitai, or they can block. But they're only netting two damage, and if they choose to block, then they only have two fairies left. So, like, just going aggro doesn't really, like, it doesn't really make sense there. They're dealing two more damage than we are. Or two, two damage to us, basically. Okay, Ferd, what's going on, buddy? Okay, sure, the old... Oh my god. The old Mox Sapphire Black Lotus Talarian Academy deck. I don't know how these people get these decks, and I'm here over here with Mox Emerald. Yeah, Mike left. Mike had to go to sleep to get up for work tomorrow. So sorry kids, no Mike B. I have a feeling this mana tithe is not going to do what we want it to do. Dismember that guy. Okie dokie. No, that's a thing. Play a five drop. Nope, you don't want to do that? Okay. Attack for three Z's. Yep. All right. Hmm. I only have three cards in hand. I guess we just... I do like counters on this. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is fine. Keeps their fairy count a little lower. Plus, unless they can kill this angel, I don't think they're going to be attacking us. Well, 
Well, 11 to 11. They have two cards in hand. That's not a tremendous amount. Revelark does get back Angel of Invention. That's pretty sweet. Oh, God. Gristlebrand. Why not? Goodbye. Well, they can't cast that guy, so that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Gristlebrand, pretty brutal. Thankfully, Remand is definitely going to counter him, so that's pretty cool. So we take three, and then they take one every turn. That's not going to... It's not going to work out in our favor, that's for sure. But maybe now it will. Umzawa's Jitte, pretty good. Oh my. That's pretty good. I mean, next turn I'm going to draw Grizzlebrand. They only have actually three black sources, so they can't actually even cast Grizzlebrand right now. The problem is once they get the fourth mana, the fourth black source for Grizzlebrand, they will have... Um... Nine mana. So mana leak is not going to be good. We can remand him. Jitte is a, a pretty solid answer to Bitter Blossom. Yes. Oh. Just letting it go face now, huh? Okay. So this is, should be this should be Gristlebrand. So see what they attack with, and we can... Oh, a red mana. That's not going to cast Gristlebrand. So whatever this is, is your other card that wasn't Gristlebrand. Through the Breach. Huh. All right, well... <laughs> so the one card in your hand is Gristlebrand. One, two, three, four. And you have four mana. Hmm. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Let's keep that in mind. I guess we just have to play Revel Arc to block now. I'm not sure what we could draw that actually gets us out of that situation. Grizzlebrand doesn't have Trample, though, which is nice. So the other hand is Gristlebrand Sneak Attack, or uh, Through the Breach, rather, so. Yep, that's pretty good. That's not going to do it. But when Revelark dies, we do get Angel of Invention back. That's pretty good. I don't care about killing the blocker because I'd rather I'd rather not take damage than deal them an extra two right now. Like, if they block, that's totally fine. If they don't block, that's totally fine, too. We're going to get counters either way. We kill their blocker. We kill both of these. I don't care about connecting. Like, you get, it's, it's combat damage in general, and that's not just to a player, so. I 
I just have to hope Sheldock Isle has something stupid underneath it, I guess. All right, we do have Mana Tithe in hand, which is kind of cool. They didn't activate Sheldock Isle, which is... We know Gristlebrand through the breach in one other card. Yeah, we can actually... We can we can double kill our, our Hangerback Walker if we need two more blockers for... Uh... Oh, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's very good. Tap this down. We can kill our Hangerback Walker. Block, block. It's pretty gross. Oh, the Jitte might remove the counters, yes. No, it's not. No, it's negative one, negative one until the turn. It's not negative one, negative one counters. Yeah, that's not dead. So I have no cards in hand, which is good. I wish I had one more counter. Ugh. Then they don't gain seven, draw seven. Do they even draw seven here? Like, that seems pretty greedy, but... I mean, go to three, go to four. Seven cards, full grip. And you have a Bitter Blossom in play. I don't know if I'd do that. Wow. One, two, three. So if they cast anything for exactly three or even two, we can force them to crack Bloodstained Mire. I think that line was fine because now when we get Angel Invention back, we can Hangerback Walker will survive because it gives one ones. Well, I guess you're getting a swamp here, but now you're on two, <laughs> so. You got it. Name Jitte. That's rude. Well, this guy dies. I think we're dead. I feel like... Actually, can we do this? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. They're at two. Like, we need one, literally one more turn. Supreme Verdict here is fantastic. I think we have a bunch of draws. That ain't one of them. One, two, three, four. Supreme Verdict. That might do it, my friends. Depends on if they have... Depends on if they have a counterspell. Not a counterspell, but a... Uh, a way to gain life or haste us for three. Alternatively, we can actually steal their fairy and attack for one, and then they die in Bitter Blossom. That seems good, right? Go 
Because this, this means they only get one turn, not two. Don't have the mana for what, stink butt? What are you saying right now? Thopter a go. Attack your face. All right, now you have to have a burn spell in your upkeep or a life gain spell in your upkeep. Either way, we can go block, block, and only take two. I guess you tap a guy down and kill us. Stink bug, get it together, buddy. I mean, don't say you're impressed if you're just going to kill me and be like, oh, good work, kill you. Ha, ha, ha. Here we go. Really? You got a bounce so you can... Oh, okay, cool. Well, I mean, that can still kill us. I'm not under any impression that we're not dead here. So. So stressful. Yeah, also, if you guys are missing, the, if you guys miss any of the drafts, you can feel free to check them out on my YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. And we win. What a game. That was also a great game, man. Cube is phenomenally fun. I actually like Declaration in Stone a lot. It gets sort of a lot of problematic things like Gristlebrand. God, even Opposition's pretty good, right? I mean, again, though, we, like, had one creature out that entire game, so I just don't think opposition is, is great for this deck. The Stardust 10. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Craigasm is right, buddy. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. I think we play Deck and Stone and we take out the Mana Tithe. I think that's good. Oh, Revelark's great. It hits uh, Angel of Invention... It hits Geist of, Geist of St. Traff, it hits Selfless Spirit, it hits Soulfire Grandmaster. Plus it's just a 4-3 four, four, flyer. It's Sower of Temptation. Like, all these cards are great. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, we got a Mox. It's an off-color It's an off -color Mox, but it is what it is. Um, I think we're good like this. I almost like Smuggler's Copter over Thirst for Knowledge. I don't know. Workshop has like three cards we can cast off of it. Workshop is a land that casts one of these four cards and nothing else in the deck, and we can't even activate these cards off of Workshop. So if we went turn one sort of body and mind off of workshop, we'd still have to wait two turns in order to actually activate it. So not ideal. I was gonna submit like this though. I think it's good. Does Nevernal's this kill enchantments? Because that's actually definitely an answer for um Despite being all blue, this hand is great. It's definitely an answer for Bitter Blossom, so. Cobalt, I'm not sure what guidance I can provide. I uh, I only let na nature take its course. Crackland, Mox, Lotus, Frost, Titan, go. Well, that will only be five mana. Man, Umazawa's Jitte is a heck of a drug. Well, I don't think the shops draws are going to instantly win when our, our sh only shops cards are in equipment. And then we don't have actually mana to cast creatures. Now we got the remand up. Oh, they got double blue. That doesn't seem great. Ooh, 
Oh, are they missing a land drop? And we got a remand in hand? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, this game is doing good. I mean, I hate to be, I hate to be like grateful when my opponent misses land drops, but I mean, that's, that's inherent to what magic is. Um, I don't think Remand actually does much against this card. But if they cast something, Remand does do something against that, so that's pretty okay. We are going to Thirst for Knowledge here. Right? No, there's no reason. I like Allegiance landing here. Let's us still keep up Remand, which is pretty good. And we get a Deuter. Little duder. Yeah, I just don't want to take down my shields because they could have anything. Lotus is pretty good. Not going to lie. Them having to discard is a small price to pay for having Ancestral Recall and casting it. We basically have the same number of lands, but it's as if these three said, sacrifice them when you use them. And you have to use them all at the same time. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah, that's, that's whatever. I got a 1-1 lifelinker. I don't even care about that guy. I could even steal it. I won't, but I could steal it. See, now we're going to thirst. Because whatever they do, they're going to have to crack their lotus for. So. Do you just name Jitte? Jitte seems good. Thirst would be nice if we actually hit the card they name and we can discard it. <laughs> I presume it's going to be an artifact. Steal it, establish dominance, pee on his lotus. Um, I don't know how the peeing on the lotus would work, but I, I could steal this to establish dominance. I, I, can, I can get behind that part. You really lose me at the peeing on the lotus part, I think. Yeah, always Jitte. Oh, get rid of Mox. <laughs> Easy choice. Easy choice. Easy choice. So we have to really keep this in mind because they could literally go through the Breach Crystal brand and then draw seven. Um, so we don't actually, I don't feel like it's actually safe to be playing Baneslayer anytime soon. Yeah, commit the Legion's Landing to get another Vampire. Yeah, two turns from now, I'll repeat my draw to get a second 1-1. One, one. We can also end of turn commit the Lotus, which is kind of cool. Kind of forces their hand. I don't actually hate that. It means you can probably get away with the Bane Slayer without them doing anything, anything shenanigans-y. Okay. That's a pretty good... Oh, that was a good draw. Holy smokerinos. Yeah, we're going to actually wait till next turn to, uh, to Baneslayer because then we can still keep her manned up.
Yeah, they would still be able to draw seven. They just don't attack. They play Gristlebrand. They draw seven. Where are your lands? This is turn seven. This is ridiculous. I guess we just pass here. We got double counter spells. We can actually play Baneslayer and keep up remand. Oh, that's a gentleman. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. We can actually play Geist. I like guys keep up cryptic. No, guys won't flip landing because you're not you're not announcing attacks with three creatures. You're you you end up attacking with three creatures, but you're not announcing an attack with three creatures. It's a weird distinction. Magic has weird distinctions like that. Oh, a wandering ephemeral. Well, these are all cards that we're drawing here. I don't actually care if Geist dies. Uh, Geist dying also gets their guy off the board and leaves us open to Umazawa's Jitte, but also if we draw Revelark, we have a a nice draw. Pretty sure we're just going to play Ojitai and keep up Remand. Actually, Baneslayer is probably better, right? Yeah, we gotta actually uh we gotta put some pressure on the board, and this is a two turn clock, so. They have six mana. Through the breach costs five. So that leaves them with one mana up for a counter spell, which if it's like if it's spell pierce, that's bad. If it's like force spike, that's good. Uh I'll remand this. And you do have something. Okay, that's fine. We have Cryptic Command, so. And they don't actually have enough mana to, to replay. I guess they do. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Um, Here we go. And they're still two mana away from... Uh... Gristlebrand through the breach. Well, one mana away from through the brand... Through the, through the brand, Gristle Breach. Is that what I said? Because that's pretty funny. Oh, a compulsive. That's pretty good. So we can do five right now. Hmm. Okay. Gristle breach through the brand. That's pretty good. We can deal five, put them up to five. That's okay. I don't think you can actually discard lands here. My concern is that I am indeed out of counter spells, so. 
However, this might be the best time to cast memory. We have eight mana, so we actually get to untap, play Soulfire Grandmaster. Or not untap, but like we can play Soulfire and Memory. And they're going to have like six cards anyway. Oh, Gristle Brain in the Graveyard and Sword of War and Peace. Intriguing. That's pretty good. I guess... Well, I think we pump here. Yep, deal five. And then we'll play Ojitai because Ojitai actually has protection from things. I mean, if they can go reanimate Gristlebrand... They, they have sneak attack, so they can literally go sneak attack guy and because of that we're going to just play soulfire grandmaster gives us more things to sacrifice like if they play a, a, like ulamog annihilator or something or exile two permanents we still have a creature on board and we can sower the ulamog to still attack so i want to have three bodies on the board in that case they have an ulamog here well actually sneak attack's not gonna Actually, Sneak Attack Ulamog would kill us because the uh, the attack trigger. Which is pretty scary in a limited game. They also have 5 minutes on their clock. We have 13, so pretty significant time difference here. Here it is. Oh, Zealous Conscripts. Okay. Interesting. Do you take Jitte? That doesn't equip it. You take Soulfire Grandmaster. All right, I think this. I think that's the end. Okay, I think that's. I think that's game. Like we take five, but you go to seven, and then you're basically dead. I can't imagine there's any card you can play here that would turn the tide. Get the good games. Yeah, I mean, they missed like five, six land drops. Um, not really <laughs> ideal. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And we get to flip our Legion's Landing. Finally. Negative one. Whoa, we've drawn. Hangerback, Revel Arc, Declaration. Eh, either of those are fine. And wow. So they had Talarian Academy, Mox, and Lotus, and we ended up winning that. That was pretty cool. Two oh no less. Oh, a cigar smoking dog. All right. Factor Fiction Legions. I don't hate this hand. We can play everything, which is good. I will keep. A Mox would be nice because then we can actually play turn three Factor Fiction. Uh oh, Mishra's Factory into nothing. Okay. Oh, that's a two drop. All right. Look at all my lifelink creatures. Blue, white, gifts, and standard. I think it's fine. I think all the gifts decks are fine. I have not kept up with standard in probably about a month and a half though, so I might not be the best person to ask. I'm I don't have my finger on the current pulse of standard. So hard to say. But as far as my opinion, um the blue white the blue white decks in general, the the gifts decks in general have been pretty good. Oh, we did draw look what we did. We made it happen.
I mean, they do have six mana next turn, which beats our three, four mana, but... Cobalt, awesome to hear it. What was your what was your name? What's your name, buddy? Factor fiction with lifelink. Lifelink, lifelink, lifelink. All the lifelink. Ooh, what are you hitting here? Soulfire Grandmaster? That's aggressive. You don't think I have better creatures than that in my deck? That's rude. Oh, yeah, Ken. I, I do remember you. As I should. Yeah, we've definitely been Facebook friends forever. Forever. All right, you got the Banishing Light. Interesting. Oh, that's an aggressive guy. Do we just play Geist here? God, where were you last turn? Because then I could have Mox Emerald into you. I feel like they're going to do some shenanigans with, uh, with Metal Worker, so I'm, I'm actually just going to Factor Fiction here. Because I want to be able to, I want them to do something, and then I'll answer it with fat, with like supreme verdict or something, and then we can geist of Saint Traft. Here comes Mind Slaver. Reveal three artifacts. Add ten mana. Mind Slaver, you. God, Factor Fiction is also terrible with Mind Slaver. Like, they cast Mind Slaver and they choose the pile of zero cards. Oh no. Then they suicide my vampire into their metal worker. Okay, you got a soul ring sitting in your hand. And you cast it off of the metal worker. Okay, seems good. The old Grim Monolith Soul Ring Metal Worker deck. Okay. All the decks we're playing against are absolutely like they have the have these busted cards, and we're just like, I have an off-color mox. I guess that's cool. They have two cards in their hand, though. And we get the Factor Fiction here. And the Grim Model has tapped. Ah. Sure, 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 sure. Factor Fiction. Oh my god, arrange the piles. Whoo boy. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. That is Gas City. Jitte Island. I will take the top pile if that's what you're giving me. Sphinx is rev and oh no, okay. <laughs> this is not an easy pile to build, I'll be honest with you. Might take the bottom. No, I still want the shackles though. We get to keep. We get to go shackles and steal your metal worker. And we just have Sphinx's Revelation for, for rebuilding. And we have a we have five six mana at least. Whew. Oh my god. Come on, one time, one time. Oh, uh, she's about putting your hand. We can actually attack with this guy and Jitte, though. Ugh. This is actually tough. Geist of St. Chav Traft Jitte is no joke.
They have two cards in hand. They don't have a counter spell, or else they would have used it. Memory in the art is something I just never want to do when they have two cards. I'm like, I don't want to give you. I don't want to give you six more cards for free. I do, however, want to play a Shackles, though, and steal your guy. We'll do it when he's untapped, though. I guess it doesn't matter. Letting you untap means you can potentially use something during your upkeep. I doubt you'll have anything. But alternatively, we can block like a Mishra's factory if you attack with it, and that might make a difference. Yeah, because Sphinx's revelation is the most you can possibly do. Can I have your little metal man? Yep, this is what I was afraid of them doing. Okay, they just... Oh, never mind. They just have it in response. Okay, that's fine. Also, if we can draw, like, an artifact, we can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana for Sphinx's Rev for five. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have, they have ten mana. Here comes Ulamog. Is it actually Ulamog? It's actually Ulamog. Not Ulamog. Okay. Change their mind. I see. Why didn't you tap this and float it? I guess you could still do that. Eh, that's pretty good. Cryptic and Remand? Alright, sure. I mean, this is going to untap anyway. You have absolutely no reason to not float this, so... Did they not untap? Like, Time Spiral looked like it resolved, right? Oh, they didn't... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They needed nine mana for something? Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> Denied us that free commit value, boys. It's your free commit value. I mean, they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana, and they needed that mana. They needed the one mana. What do they need nine mana for? And we also redrew Factor Fiction and Geist. So the only card we lost was Sphinx's Revelation, but we basically drew like four cards anyway, so. Okay, Signet, sure. I got one floating. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And I have seven mana instead of eight. I don't know what Regency is, so I can't tell you what to build in Regency. <laughs> oh, a little. Oh. I see. Well, that's not very fun. Well, that is a thing. Uh, 
Untap you. I'll just leave that tapped. I don't really have any reason to. Uh... We do have a Mox here. Oh, we just played Geist of St. Traft, right? Yeah, that seems fine. I can't keep Cryptic up because we have they have <laughs> they have Winter Orb. Feel free to counter this guy, I guess. You gonna force? Okay, remand it. Sure. Oh man, that's so annoying. I mean, I don't really care about keeping counter up because they don't have, they don't have Grim Monolith mana and they also don't have land mana right now. They have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So, I mean, they can't really Ugin with six mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, if they if they play a land and untap, oh, Ugin definitely hurts. I mean, we don't have an answer to an Ugin, so. Ugin is eight mana, so I mean, like they could have just played Ugin for eight last turn. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like they have eight mana now. Like Ugin is pretty bad. They just lightning bolt, lightning bolt our guy, lightning bolt our guy. Ultimate Ugin. <laughs> I mean, this is Winter Orb actually changed this entire game, which is super weird. Yep, here we go. But you could have played Ugin last turn. You had eight mana, so that's weird to me. Angel of Serenity. Okay. Choose these two. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's a five, 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 six. Okay. Seems fine. Yep, untap island, untap shackles. Play you. So we're getting to a point. Next turn we can just actually play Cryptic Command, bounce Winter Orb during uh, their end step. Maybe. Hmm, go to 10. Four, five, six. They have six mana. We could always remand something too here. Yep, no blocks. Man, this game would not even be close if we didn't have a mox. They took up they took damage from the breeding pool. Oh, Iona might have been that's that's like one of the few cards I can think of, but no, because they didn't have three white. Oh, they could have floated the white, I guess, if Tundra and Sacred Foundry were both in play. I'm really ca crossing my fingers we can draw an island here, because then we can actually play an island. I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm not going to risk my mana for that guy. Oh my god. Like, this game isn't even bad. It's just kind of grindy right now. I would kill for another on-color mock so that I can just keep... What? That's interesting. That might be worth playing, but we can also... I think it's just keeping Cryptic Command up at this point. I get to untap one blue and a, an Azorius Signet, so... I can deal with that. What are we discarding here? Selfless Spirit, probably? Man, where's our mana when we need it?
Yep, no blocks. Winter or only affects lands. Can't have more than one land during their untap step. Does not affect uh, artifacts. So bounce draw, I guess, is the only option. If they play a spell, we counter it and then bounce the winter orb. That seems good too. But then they have to like tap out. Otherwise, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They still have eight mana. That's ridiculous. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, they have eight mana right now. Oh my god. This is frustrating because the grim model has untapped, so they just replay winter orb. And that taps us out. So we just have to let this resolve to bounce Winter Orb. What is going on? They have 12 minutes. We have 24, 21. Pretty rough. Okay. This means no Winter Orb. Don't have mana ties, I guess. Wow, this needed to be countered so bad, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Whew. Okay. What can we do here? I will keep all of these on top. We'll draw the island, steal the angel. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have, yeah, we're just going to tap out. We're going to play Dragon Lord Ojitai. And then we're going to steal their angel. Steal me an angel right now. And then that should be lethal. That's 10. That's 5 and 5. We know the one, one of their cards is Winter Orb. Do you immediately run out the winter orb? I mean, we're going to wait to shackles because if they actually like Supreme Verdict or Day of Judgment or something, like we don't need to do it. Oh my god. That makes this guy a six, so we actually have to steal you now. All right, I'm just gonna have six here. I got nothing else I can do. Hope you don't like Winter Orb and three other cards is your hand. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve 12 mana. All right. Dragon Lord Ojitide does have a. Uh, it's got the hex proof. Here we go. This has got to be a repeal think I don't know it looks like you're paying into it treasure cruise okay six cards and six mana we know one is winter orb and we have 10 power on board also if you guys haven't done so feel free to follow or subscribe subscribing definitely helps me out and uh, 
I pretty much stream daily, so you guys will be helping me out, and you get access to the cool emotes, and you also get access to the subscriber Discord channel, which has been amazing. Do it today. Oh, four mana. Sorrow of Temptation. Gifts ungiven. All right. I don't think you're going to have four cards that you can cast off of one Sacred Foundry, but crazier things have happened. They haven't played Winter Orb yet, so we do get our, our turn. We do get we do get to untap. I mean, Gifts Ungiven might be your last option, so you're just like, let me dig, let me find, see if I can find Swords of Plowshares, Path to Exile, uh, Bounce Spell, <sighs> Declaration in Stone. And then I'm just like, I guess I gotta give you two of these. Um, I have no events planned next year, really. I'm Oh, we just win. Okay, cool. That was pretty awesome. Deck and Stone's only creatures, right? Dang. Repeal is pretty good against their their nonsense. Uh, I don't have any big events, Pran. I don't I don't actually like going to events that much. I think they're kind of exhausting, and I don't like. This is gonna sound weird, but I don't really love competitive Magic that much. Um, like I think I like I have more fun doing like stuff like this, like playing cubes or playing wacky modern decks, and that stuff doesn't really lend itself to playing competitively. So it's just like it's not really my wheelhouse. And this is what I've come to learn over the past probably year and a half. I don't think anything else is really relevant here. What did we saw? We saw Metalworker and Angel and Palancron. That was pretty much it. They also had Marari's Wake and Palancron, which is pretty scary. That's pretty insane. Uh, we don't have enough creatures for opposition. Like, we have nine creatures in our entire deck. And they're all creatures I'd much rather be attacking with. Rob, what's going on, buddy? Feels like it's a little late for you. Um, Yeah, agreed. I definitely can say. I, I think, like, once I... I top-aided Grand Prix, I top-aided Pro Tour. I've been at the Community Cup. I think after all that, I'm just like... I've done all I need to do. Oh, I do like Opposition tapping the Winter Orb. That's pretty... That's some sick tech. I can get behind that, Balthazar. Like, even if you get one guy in play, being able to tap Winter Orb's pretty OP. I'll take Thirst for Knowledge out. <laughs> I'll go to Worlds. If they invite me to Worlds, I'll go to Worlds. But, yeah, stuff like that's just not at the top of my, my desire list. Oop, excuse me, my desire list, you know. Uh, subscribing? I don't actually know the process to subscribe, I'll be honest with you. How do you get this screen to draft? I don't know what you mean. What does that mean? I will keep this hand. Oh, all right. I like a Soulfire Grandmaster. Oh, wow. Super aggro. Soulfire Grandy. That's old Grandy. Planes and Mishra's Factory. Mishra's Factory seems a little greedy in this deck. Like, they have tons of color requirements. Two planes. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Now well, we're definitely attacking here. The only thing I do is cast Hangerback Walkers, so whatever. And hope they don't blow us out with, like, ridiculous nonsense. If only we had Mana Tithe here. That's where I want to be. Here we go. Two cards under the reveal. Right, where are they? What? Okay, that's weird. Why aren't they in there? Two cards under the revealed zone. 
No, they didn't. <laughs> hey, hey, Sue Mulligan, thank you so much for the sub, man. You are awesome. <laughs> oh, <laughs> obviously, Thanos is getting. <laughs> Thanos, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. As usual. Well, this is pretty busted. So they have they have four cards. One's Basalt Monolith, one's a Grim Monolith. I guess they just play both here. This is really weird. I'm gonna just bring in Nevenril's disc in next matchup. Recefs 8604, thank you so much for the sub. You are awesome. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. <laughs> he asked how subs work. Now he knows. You're not wrong. Oh, God. God, Marari's Wake is so dumb. Why don't I have any, like, why don't I have a disenchant? I think there's a late disenchant that I probably should have taken. I wish I had a, I wish those, I wish this repeal was a remand instead. Otherwise, I have like a bunch of four mana spells. A cryptic command's never getting played next turn. They have three cards in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They have fourteen, fifteen, sixteen mana. That's pretty fair. Not fair at all. Racif, welcome back, buddy. You're not wrong. No, man, you're not wrong. You're just an a-hole. Walter, you're not wrong. That's a good movie. Here comes the Tundra. Yep. Man. Predictability scale is high right now. Four mana. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, six, sixteen mana total. Hard cast Emrakul. Dude, you played this. When did you? What, Robert? When did you play my Soul Tie list? Also, I love that deck. I don't care what the metagame looks like. I think that deck is super fun. What is going on here? Is this just Palancron? Untap a million lands. Wow! I want to vomit. <gasps> Ooh, that's exciting. You don't even invite me to your local store anymore, man. That's rude. You're just rude. Some friend you are. I'm not going to Jim Gaffigan on Saturday, Sunday. Because you're rude. You're a rude gentleman. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep, still 16 mana and seven cards. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we have Remand now. That's pretty good, right? Oh, God. Mistakes and magic free spells is right, dude. You are not wrong. Gideon. That's fine. That is not the most scary thing you could be doing. Only 17 mana left. Okay, I think we got this. If I invite you, that puts you in the spot to turn me down, and I'm just not about that anymore. <laughs> I guess we're just never hanging out again, then. Oh. Duretti, Mom's Spaghetti, Palms Sweaty. Here comes Planeswalkers for Daddy, Daddies. That's like days, I guess. I don't know. I got nothing here, guys. It's late. It's like one o'clock. It's only round two. They have five minutes to win this game and another game. It's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It's not looking good. So used to watching YouTube, first time in Twitch watching, and I want to pause and can't. Here, I'll wait for you.
Yeah, so it's like nothing happened. And then you re you unpaused right now, I guess. Okay, you got it. Is that it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have twelve mana left. Thirteen because you floated one. Why do I only have four lands? Did they like? How did they get extra lands? Did they cheat on lands? It's turn five. Do we miss a land drop? I guess we did. Yeah, because we got one two drop. This guy on three, and then this guy on four, but we missed a uh, land drop on four. Can I just steal this and kill like one of your things? I guess we'll do that. I have no idea if that's good anymore. Right now, they have four and a half minutes to win two games, and we're at twenty-two life. R W R W Pointer, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. I think you can beat them with four lands, probably. I guess we'll find out. I mean, they're just gonna. They're just going to win her over here, but. Thanos, in, in gifting a sub to hate to Mulligan, you actually confused them about how you gifted them a sub. So now like you just, you answered one question, but you, you, you caused another. So. You know, kind of funny. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna. Oh, now it shows up. Now Mind Slaver shows up. Okay. Well, this is awkward. That was a good top deck. I assume if you. Oh, it's, it's actually Mind Slaver lock because of Academy Runes. So that's pretty cool. So I guess we'll just have six here because we can't do anything. Can you do that? You can click someone's name and click gift a sub. Send a whisper. Add or ignores. I might have different um I might have different controls actually because I mean, I'm not gonna scoop to mind slaver. Like you have three minutes. Like you have to win. You have to win the game. Like, this is how this works. This is an infinite combo. You could choose not to do this. Also, it's not really a lock because you're not winning the game. Like, Splinter Twin, like, if it's a Splinter Twin, or Splinter Twin combo, like, you win in one turn. Well, oh, so long, Remand. Oh, Sower of Temptation. I get my turn back now. Oh, they didn't actually bring back uh, Mind Slayer. Did not use Mind. Where where'd it go? Did they do it? I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> did they get it back? What did they do? Oh, they they put it on top, so it's in their hand again. Okay. Okay. Kind of just want to repeal this guy. Actually, we'll block with Hangerback Walker. And then we'll pump Hangerback Walker. And then we'll keep up Mana Tithe and Remand. Give me three dudes. It's infinite because they deck you. Yeah, sure, that's a thing, but that ain't happening in, in this game, in this match. And if also, if they were at like 10 minutes, I'd be like, okay, cool, we'll just go to the next game because we have enough time to play out another game. But when I have 16 and you have two, you have monopolized a fair amount of your time. 14 extra minutes, that is an unreasonable amount of time. Hmm. I'm just going to bounce this because I don't like having the repeal in my hand. Sure. Your move. 
Look at all these cur look at all these creatures I have. Oh my god, when they steal my turn, I think it's their clock that runs down. I don't know. I'm going to watch their clock. I th I'm pretty sure it's their clock because they're playing the game. That would be insane because then you can like literally steal their... No, it has to be their clock because they're the clock d determines their amount of time to make plays. And if they could like... If you could mind slaver someone and then just sit... You could just mind slaver someone and literally just sit there and just wait for 15 minutes. That would be insane. Bits are basically donations. Um, it's just a different form of donations. Like I get, I get bits. Um, the same. They're like they're like one cent, one cent per bit. So if you donate hundred bits, it's like a dollar. I think. I think. I always get confused because I'm so old. Because I'm like a grandpa. I'm not that old, nor my grandpa. Spoiler alert. Oh, you're just going to throw my guy in front. Okay. Well, this is your last 45 seconds, so. Bits don't give as much cash for this room. Interesting. I don't know the ratio of, of bits to, like, subs and stuff. I mean, also, if they don't want to waste their time, they're more than welcome to not use Mind Slaver. Like, that is completely their option. I imagine bits are probably less uh, be based on the fact that they're like they're they're more fun oriented. Like it shows up, it's got a cool animation on the screen. Like it's it's through Twitch and it's not through like PayPal or anything like that. So I'll just take four here. Um, I have to assume they see their clock, right? I don't know. Either way, let's go to go to match three. Four O with this deck so far. Seems good. I'm okay with it. I mean, I don't know what to make of that match, but uh, subs on Twitch. I actually don't have that many. I only have around a hundred. Um, it's because I, I think I'm not a regular enough streamer. Like I do take breaks on streaming. Like sometimes I won't stream for a week or so. Um, I'm trying not to do that now, but um. Yeah, I also don't have a set time. Like, sometimes I'll come on at night. Sometimes I'll stream during the day. So I think I'll, the lack of consistency hurts me as far as streaming goes. But... I don't love this hand. I actually like this hand much better. I will keep it. Oh, I'm going to bottom you because I don't need a third land. All right, let's see what happens. Turn one, selfless spirit. Give me a blue mana followed by any land and then we can go Geist of St. Traft into... Jite equip. That would be pretty insane. All right. <laughs> Mox matchup. That is not it. We still get to play Jite, though. Not bad. Robert, love you, buddy. You are awesome. I'm gonna kill myself with spirit. Oh, impulse. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Yeah, they were gonna kill my guy, but then they're like, we'll wait till you equip it. I ain't equipping it though. I'm just gonna play Geist. Geist of Saint Traft. <laughs> Compromised and took phone to bathroom over pause. Nice. Oh man. Appreciate it. That's a good choice. I think that's a solid choice. That's a good use of technology. Also, thanks for the compliments, man. Really appreciate it. Don't counter this guy. Oh, you're gonna counter my guy. Oh, you're not playing blue. Okay. I mean, I still got a geist, boy. Yeah, one of my biggest issues is actually confirming whether I am streaming uh, to opponents because it's just a super awkward situation where I'm, I feel like I'm almost welcoming them to to ghost. But all right, Robert, I'm opening this uh, soul tie list you played. Yeah, I feel like that's not it, right? Which one is it? Why are you, why are you sending me two? Please provide mailing address to ensure you receive full amount I intend to donate. <laughs> I can't tell if that's serious or not. Like, I don't actually know which way to go with that. All right, I do like I do like a geist into uh Look at my spirits. I think we're just going to factor fiction and take whatever pile has land then we can sort of body and mind and equip next turn. It's a joke. <laughs> I get it. That's the joke. Oh, are you going to factor fiction into, and, and now I get to respond to the factor fiction? Okay. Huh. Double mocks. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about either of these piles. If you want a Glen Lens, you're going to tap out. I'm going to factor fiction in response, and then we're going to attack you for a million. Oh, you want the fast bond? Uh, Mox and high tide. Okay. Robert, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Yeah, it definitely it definitely just depends on your preference as to which you donate. Um, and both both help out the streamer. I think that's the important part. So like, it just depends on how you want to do it. Okay, so Sapphire is gone. High Tide is gone. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, they have eight mana right now. That's pretty good. It's a lot of things. If they have Time Spiral as one of their last cards, it's pretty scary. Because they weren't playing two Time Spiral decks in a row. That's pretty That's pretty rough. Then they get to untap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, seven mana. Here it is. Upheaval. Wait, what's going on? Oh, my islands make two as well. That's pretty cool. Huh. 
Look at that manatee. Isn't that cute? I mean, we still have to go Mox. Do they play land this turn? I think they played an island, right? Yeah, they played an island already. Um, just gonna choose pile two because we already have infinite lands that are coming down, so. Sure. I guess we should have actually floated mana for the mana tithe. So they have four mana. We know they have island, 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 stomp, and fast bond is gone. So we know. Like, mana tithe has only prevented one. One mana. Like, they're going to be way ahead right now. So one island gone. Stomping ground gone. Wow. Going to three. Going to two. Ritual. So they have two islands in hand and two. One island in hand and two other cards. If this is just an empty the Warrens, it's absolutely insane. Time spiral? <laughs> is this the time spiral? If so, if you had upheaval, pyrotic ritual, time spiral in hand, like that's just utterly ridiculous. Scroll rack. Okay, so you get to draw two. But you're at one life. I see. All right. Well, this could be anything, I guess. Warren Power Stone. Don't care about that. Botanical Sanctum. Don't care about that. Nope. Meh. Nope. Meh. Nope. Dodging, dodging. Okay. Oh, wow. Seven lands. Ha <laughs> ha, that's pretty good. Yep. That is one card. We know the one card in your hand is an island, right? Like a third island? Okay. And we're at 20 and you have nothing left, basically. Okay. So, Warren Power Stone is in play. Put the island back. Find, see the next card. Yep. Wow. That was intense. Storm count 10. And we could have actually, like, if it was Tendrils or Brain Freeze, we would have lost. The fact that it was Mind's Desire means we're still in this game. Get an island. That was it. Boy, that was something. So basically I have the card on top and the card underneath your island. No, I guess you get two cards deep, right? Because you draw the island and then you can put the card in your hand and the island back to see two more cards. All right, so 
Not out of the woods yet, but uh, as soon as this Geist of St. Traft can attack, that's going to be good. I can't believe if we, if we win this game, I'm going to be blown away. From High Tide Upheaval, Factor Fiction, Mind's Desire for 10. Oh, the island is gone to Solemn Shuffle. Yeah, well, that's the Solemn Shuffle. That's what we call it. It's a new dance move. You guys you guys see all the kids doing the Solemn Shuffle? That's a good point. So it's going to be some random card. And now they have the random card and the next two cards. There we go. Here comes old Frost Titan. I mean, they've taken five minutes longer than us so far. <laughs> it's definitely a possibility. We're also at 20. All you gotta do is deal with one selfless spirit. I refuse to believe you cannot do that. Mm, maybe not, though. So they chose one card, it looks like? It looks like put a card on top, so okay. Interesting. Definitely not going to block. Okay, that's pretty good. We have Mana Tide and Remand here. Oh god, that might be the win. Depending on what they have. Choose artifact, creature, or land. Um, Reman. Yeah, they're definitely storming. That is pretty obvious. Oh, man. What a game. What a game. I don't know what to bring in against Storm. Probably nothing good. We just gotta dodge that stupid mind's desire. Yeah, nothing really seems great against Storm, unfortunately. And we have a bunch of counter spells, which is probably good. Maybe we don't like Vidak and Shackles. Vidak and Shackles and Sower of Temptation might not be great. Whereas... Personal Legionnaire just could be better. Just as another guy. Hmm. Might just want another one drop. Just get a little more aggressive. I'm just going to add another planes so that we have more white. It is tempting to side in opposition, actually. Just tap all their lands down. Supreme Verdict can come out, actually. Maybe we can do that. Bring in Knight. I'll take out Jitte. Jitte doesn't seem great in this matchup. I think this is good. Recruiter's cool, but a little too slow. I don't like this hand at all. It's pretty bad. This is better, but not great. I'll keep you. Here we go. Sounds good. 
Uh, we didn't see an empty, so I'm not going to keep a supreme verdict in in hopes that they have empty the warrens. If they, if we see it, I'll bring it back in, but I'm not going to assume they have it. Oh, getting a little, getting a little aggressive with the scroll rack draws. Put one card on top. Hey, one more land and we got a game. Look, how, look at this fair deck. I'm playing Soldier of the Pantheon into Vampire Token. They're basically dead. They just played Island, huh? Factor Fiction? Seems good. Does it resolve? We didn't see any counter spells in their deck so far. Cryptic Command? Bounce Vampire Token? Cryptic Command is a good one. Oh, Factor Fiction. Mm, sure. Piles like that. So, Mountain, Stomp, Gush. I mean, if you want to bounce two lands in order to play Gush, that's fine. If you want to tap out to draw two, that's also fine. I didn't want to give them a way to cast the Ritual, because otherwise they probably just take Ritual, land, land. Maybe. Maybe it was better anyway. Maybe we should have just stuck a mountain in the ritual pile. Yep, that's a good one. Stomping ground gone. I guess we can keep track here. Last guy I was watching playing cube was unbearable, so here I am. Oh my god. Oof. Ruthless. Roofless. So, put one card on top. So, they, they scrolled for two. I assume one was the mountain. Or not. All right. Mountain gone. Or they got another mountain. Whatever. Either way, there's one mountain. One less mountain in their hand. 
botanical sanctum, sure. So my sword is 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 active. That's what's happening here. Cryptic command. Tap my team. Is it cryptic? That's so good. That's also very good. That's probably worse than cryptic though, right? All right, well. Put you to eight. I mean, do you have Gush and one other card in hand? All right, that's reasonable. Unless that card is like upheaval. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Upheaval. Use this, the floating mana to cast Fast Bond. Replay all your lands. Ten minutes with opponent dead on board. Oof. Sure. Bounce two lands. So we only got two islands in hand, I guess. This is gone. <laughs> no idea, some guy. Alright, alright. Two islands. Now you're gonna put those back, so I'm not even gonna know. I don't know what's in your hand. I have no idea. I'm just gonna let it let it all happen. Also, if the next card's a land, it's amazing because not only does it let us play one of these five drops, it also means the next card we draw, which is sword, can be played and equipped in the same turn. If it's not, if it's like a five or a six drop, it's pretty awkward because then our next two turns are blanks. So we're really hoping for a land or something that costs less than five. Ideally a land, though, because then it lets us start getting these cards out and it makes our next draw pretty good. Okay, well, they played an island, so I can't imagine they're going to upheaval here. Unless they just want to take extra damage from Fast Bond. Maybe they do. Interesting. Okay. I'm just always yield to that. I have no responses to your Fast Bond triggers. Eight mana. What is this? It's just fast. Is it just upheaval? You just play an extra land to float? Nope, you actually... Okay. That's pretty annoying. But not really... broken. Alright. We're at 22. Land would be great here. Oh boy, I did it. We did it. I don't really want to play this because then they just go shoot, shoot, and they can put another counter and go shoot. We'll just play Tamio and keep their walking ballista tap down. And, I mean, we could have played Angel Invention, but they just wait to untap. They put at least one counter. If they draw another land, they have two lands, or they have eight lands, so they can put two counters on this guy and then go shoot, 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 keep a counter on it. Not great. But we know we're drawing sword next turn. They also have eight minutes to win this game and the next game, and their deck does not seem that quick. So if you guys are watching this on YouTube, it's probably going to be a little bit longer of a video as you have been noticed, as you might have noticed from last round and this round. 
Also, if you guys are watching on YouTube or Twitch, be sure to subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Really appreciate the support. And you can catch me at either location at twitch.tv or youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. So, pretty, pretty standard. Meetathon with the seven month in a row sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Scroll rack is basically just like top, right? I mean, you're just basically grinding away your clock every single turn. That's fine. Do you just sack it right now and put lands into play? Okay, so you have two cards in hand. Good to know. That is not very exciting. The problem is they can put one counter on it now, two counters on it next turn. But we kind of just have to play Angel Invention here. Because otherwise it just dies. I don't know what I mean by otherwise it just dies. I think we mean like we just don't do anything else. Like it's going to die no matter what. We can't get Blissed off the board. But we want them to use their counters for this. Okay, sure. I will choose tokens, not counters here. <laughs> so I guess I don't have I guess I don't have a choice. Put a counter on walking bullets to shoot one servo, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Put another two counters on walking bullets to shoot another servo and attack. Tammy over two. If that's the case, I'm probably just going to draw two cards. God, there's so many things they're doing and they're taking so long to do it. We're at 17. We're at 18 minutes. They're at six. <laughs> They've taken 12 more minutes than we have. That is a long time. Uh oh. Oh, okay. That's. That's just fine, actually. That's going to be most of your turn, actually, so. Shoot the other one. Everybody dead. Tamio takes two, goes down to four. We can put her down to two and draw two cards. That actually seems pretty good. That's a thing. I'm going to draw two here. They can respond by putting a counter on this and shooting Tamio for two and killing her. We still draw one and then we just, they lose a walking ballista. We also have Soulfire and Sword of Body in mind. That's pretty good. And Sphinx's Revelation. That's what I meant to say. We also have Sphinx's Revelation. Like, I feel like they just kill Tamio this turn, which is unfortunately. This is still the Mind's Desire deck, yes. I have a feeling you're going to put a counter on this. Oh, you're just going to descend his deliverance then. Okay. Interesting. And Impulse? Whew. All right, you have no cards in hand except for the Impulse card. I'm okay with it. I give it the thumbs up. And they didn't scroll rack, and they didn't... No counters on Ballista, so you'd have to actually double counter on Ballista here. Which you'll probably do. Oh, I see. Hmm. You have one card in hand, though. Is it time spiral? Oh my god, if you just do if you just shoot time spiral high tide. That would be amazing. Or you could just use high tide to actually put infinite counters on Ballista, right? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Memory. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, you have seven cards. Six, seven mana upheaval. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Turnabout, I assume you're choosing your lands. Yep. Okay, this is all pretty busted. One, two, three, four, five, six. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16 mana total. You could just put four counters on Walking Ballista. No responses to any of these things. Three and a half minutes to win this game and the next game. <laughs> And we are at 22. You can just play a bunch of junk and mines at Desire. That's definitely an option, but that doesn't even guarantee you a win. Last game, like, you mines Desire for 10 and whiffed, so. And the nice thing is you can't set up mines Desire with Scroll Rack because it shuffles the library between each iteration, so. One, two, three, four, five. They, they just Scroll Rack for, for six for their entire hand. Here we go. Oh god. Here comes up people. <laughs> yep. Okay. I'll float one. Krasuski man, thank you so much for the 22 month sub. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. That's such an amount of time. Really appreciate the support. You are awesome. Worn Power Stone. Mox. Fast Bond. Land, 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 land. Play a thing, play a thing. Mine's Desire. Storm Count 6. Uh-oh, it says it now. Might be relevant. Yavamaya Elder. Mine's Desire for 8. Well, you don't have a green. You don't have a fast bond in play, so... Let's see it. Let's see the Mine's Desire for 8. Tap that Mox Jet. Make it happen. I'm waiting. I'm just waiting here. Lol, I, I effed up. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, you you're, you were pressed for time. You, there's a million things going on. Definitely don't fault someone for messing up here. This is an awkward situation to be playing in. I can't imagine. Yeah, I don't even know how long this recording is right now. This recording is about 2 hours and 19 minutes. Actually, that's not terrible. All right, so now we're going to go to our turn. We're going to play Legion's Landing. Unless we draw a Mox and then we play... That's it's probably still Legion's Landing. <laughs> island, Island. I mean, yeah, they should have used the green to play Fast Bond, right? I don't even know what I had. Okay, cool. I guess we're going to have to discard eight cards, guys. Island, one, two, three, one. Four more cards, huh? Get rid of Porcelain Legionnaire, you suck. Hangerback Walker sucks. Uh, two more cards, Quint the Memory is not great. And we can get rid of an island, I guess. Yeah, there's no way they win another game after this in one minute. Especially because they haven't won this game yet. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Feel free to like and subscribe. You know what to do. You got it. Scroll rack for days.
scroll rack was definitely their top of this game. Like, he just eats up so much clock, man. Clock, man. Not only because you're just, like... It's not only because the activation time, but it's also the, like... You have to choose which cards to draw, which cards to put back. Like, which cards... What order they're going to go in. I guess you don't get to choose which cards to draw. Choose how many cards to draw. You know what I mean? I will take four, and you have 14 seconds left. I got a soul fire grandmaster. Could have just played White Knight of the White Orchid there. I don't care though. That's where I'm at right now. I'm about I'm about done with this this match. Ended. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching on YouTube. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. If not, feel free to dislike. It's up to you. The world's your oyster. Thanks for watching.